everybody and welcome. Uh, this weekend in, in Philadelphia, uh, where, where we're coming from, uh, we celebrate the seventh Sunday in Easter. Uh, in many dioceses around the country and around the world, uh, this is the Feast of the Ascension. And um, we did Mass here on, uh, on Thursday for the Feast of the Ascension. But I'm glad that you're able to join as we, as we have this liturgy and as we, uh, we pray together and as we worship our Lord. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, amen. and with your spirit. And now, my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you ascended into heaven and you promise a return. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Graciously hear our supplications, O Lord, so that we who believe that the Savior of the human race is with you in your glory may experience, as he promised, until the end of the world, his abiding presence among us, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. The word of the Lord. Be Speed to God. Be to God. The response is, the Lord is king, the most over, sorry. <laughs> the Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice, let the many islands be glad. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. The Lord, the Lord is king, the, the most Lord high Lord over all the earth. earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all people see his glory. All gods are prostrate, prostrate before him. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. You, O Lord, are the most high over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. A reading from the book of Revelation. John heard a voice saying to me, Behold, I am coming soon. I bring with me the recompense I will give to each according to his deeds. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. 
Blessed are they who wash their robes, so as to have the right to the tree of life, and enter the city through its gates. I, Jesus, sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright morning star. The spirit and the bride say, Come. Let the hearer say, Come. Let the one who thirsts come forward, and the one who wants it receive the gift of life-giving water. The one who gives this testimony says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed saying, Holy Father, I pray not only for them, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that all may be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they may also be one in us, and that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory that you that you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them, you in me, and that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you love them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that when they see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel. Well, these readings are uh, some of the, the most intimate ones because, especially in the Gospel, we hear the inner dialogue that, that Jesus is praying to his Father so the you know the, the the father the first person of the blessed trinity is being addressed by the second person of the blessed trinity it doesn't get more intimate than that and we get to listen in to what jesus is saying and um, it's one of these things that it really makes me feel kind of bittersweet to tell you the truth because in listening in it is so heartening to think that our lord jesus christ when he is praying to his Father, that he's praying for us. Remember he says, Father, I pray not only for them, which was the apostles who were right there, but for all those who will believe in me through their word. That's us, that's you and me. And, and then Jesus says that I am praying that all may be one. And that's kind of the bittersweet part. Because all these years later, we are not one. We're not. As, as a human race, we are not one. There are many, many places around the world where there's war and violence and unrest and discord. We're not one. You know, in, in our own country, look, especially over these last few weeks and this week in particular, we, we are not one. We are sharply divided as a society and, and over politics. And, you know, sometimes I, I, I think that I cannot remember in my lifetime our country being more divided than it is right now. We're not one. 
But you know, we can look in, in, in our city where we are in Philadelphia, we're, we're not united here either. And we're not united sometimes even in our parishes and our churches. And in our parish here, John Paul II, we have the special challenge of trying to bring together what were four parishes into one. And it's really challenging. But that's not all. Also, and I'm often sorry to think, but when I look in my own heart, and I suspect that I'm not alone, even within my heart, there's division. We are not completely and totally settled in our own hearts on the love of the one thing that matters the most. So Jesus says, may we all be one. And look at where we are. We're not one at all. But I, I think he gives us a hint as to how we can make some progress here. Because so often what we are divided over are issues. You know, things that, that we can argue about. Sometimes we're divided over our, our mindsets or, or our thoughts. Jesus doesn't pray for us to be united in any way other than this that we are united around a person, that they may be one, Father, as you are in me and I in you, that they may be one in us. You know, I think we spend an awful lot of time trying to find consensus on issues, and that's not really to be had because we're not really united in the first place in the foundational part, which is united in our God, in our desire to recognize and to serve our Lord, and then to recognize one another as brothers and sisters in the Lord. Until we can see one another as people and not issues, until we can see the situation in our world as one which is in the hands of God, I don't know that Jesus' prayer of unity will be answered. But maybe we can start, starting first in the place which is most intimate for us, within our own heart. Can you and me, can we set our hearts on the Lord? And then can we then as families, and then as a parish, and then as a city and a country and a world, begin little by little by little, building relationships that can do the same. Maybe that's the path that Jesus was praying for. Maybe that's the path that we can pray for and ask his grace to help us to embark on that path. And now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. 
I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now let us offer our prayers to God in the name of Jesus, the eternal morning star. We pray for our Pope Francis, for our Bishop Nelson, and for all who serve our church, that they may speak the word of God with conviction and integrity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all leaders of nations and states, that they may build bridges of trust and cooperation among all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are the St. Stephens of our world, those who suffer ridicule, persecution, and death for their witness to the reign of God, that they may share in the glory of that reign, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died and most especially those who have died in, uh, in the, the war and the, the violence in, in the Ukraine, in Buffalo, New York, in, in Texas, and in our own neighborhoods, that they may enter the gates of God's holy city, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, we pause to add our own prayers and intentions. And as you know, I, I, I always pray for those intentions that you put in the, uh, in the comment section. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, hear the prayers of your people. Your son has gathered before you. May every prayer we utter be to your glory, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotion we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you Amen. and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, Amen. and with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Now, of course, is the time when um, we can receive our Lord in the Eucharist, body, blood, soul, and divinity. And even though nothing replaces being able to come to, to Mass and to receive our Lord, um, what the church asks is that because it's through no fault of our own that, that we can't be uh, at, at Mass, that if we, we make a prayer of spiritual communion, we know that Jesus comes to us in a very special way in our hearts and in our souls. Father, I pray that they may be one, as also we are one. Alleluia. And let us pray. Hear us, O God, our Savior, and grant us confidence that through these sacred mysteries there will be accomplished in the body of the whole church what has already come to pass in Christ her head, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you, with, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Well, thanks so much for joining us and for praying with us. And um, we'll see you again next week.